Hello, this is Distracted Lord, and welcome back to BMG Drive. And I have here a Mirama. It's just a very standard base version Ibishu Mirama. And I also happen to have here a Rally Track. And this car is at the moment not the best thing to take around a Rally Track. But I think I can probably do something about this now I'm nicely in my rally car. Ha! Huh. It's not a rally car yet, but it soon will be. Here is a top down view. We are starting off down here. And we then go over here. You can't really see the elevation of it from here, but there's some elevation. There is this horrible, nasty, twisty bit over here which I'm not going to be using because it's exactly that, it's horrible, nasty and twisty. But the biggest problem I have with it is the fact that it is lined with trees, and you make one little mistake and smack your raptor around a tree. Not into the car, and we see just how badly we can do. So off we go with a low power rear wheel drive start, aka not great. There we go. Over the hill here. And then we just slide around there. Kind of slightly badly. We don't have much power. The sign says 70. Imagine being able to go 70 up there. I don't have to, I've done it. You can higher power cars, you can break stuff going over there by getting airtime and then smashing down on your nose. That can, that may pause, pu not pause, that may pose a problem for rally version of this car. That really just depends on how good I can make this thing. This bit also here might be, because it's sort of, there's like a double bump. You sort of go down, then it flattens, then it's down again. And if you jump off that, you can then bounce off the second bit. And that then sends you bouncing. And then we have a final corner here, which is nastier than it looks, and I want to make sure I'm definitely on the inside. And then we have this little bit up here, which we just sort of have to leave it in third and crawl. Is, is the word I'm going to describe it at like slow speed? I don't know what the speed is because I can't read the speedometer on this thing because it's so small. The, the, the second gauge is the speedometer. It's very tiny. So there we go. That's a lap in the stock Mirama. And now we must go and make a not stock Mirama. Fortunately, there is the garage from the game, which is annoying. Because I kind of like the garage, but I guess no one really used it until they got rid of it. Well, now here we have a quite different looking Mirama. We have a wing, we have different wheels, we have some fender flares. I've moved this wing mirror to make it a bit more useful. Not that you really need a wing mirror for rallying, but it gets it out of the way of you looking down there. I painted it black and gold, of course, and it is grip all. Got rid of number plates because you don't need those. And the rear bumper, because you don't need that either. I kind of think it looks better without a rear bumper. You take the front bumper off and it looks a bit silly, but you don't need a rear bumper. There's also a roll cage, no rear seats, and in the front we have some nice racing seats. And we have the very important shift light. Now, I have to take this one around the track. And go! And the challenge with this is keeping it in a straight line because it doesn't particularly like doing so. It likes to make its own lines, which is going to be rather wobbly and not straight because it's stuck and sliding now. And then we go careful over here because otherwise we get too many air times and too many air times is bad. And we make sure we stay on track down here because off to the right there is issues. No, not on the right, left. 
there's some nasty bumps on the, on the left so you have to make sure you actually stay on the track. faster. I don't actually know. I will probably go and find out. And brakes. And perform donuts. We are doing donuts. This is good. Now I just want to see how well this thing does compared to an actual Ranica. Here we have a Sunburst rally car. This is your standard rally car. This one is all-wheel drive. Unfortunately, you can't make Mirama all-wheel drive, otherwise I so would have done this all-wheel drive Mirama. Seems like a good idea. Rally car being all-wheel drive, I generally think is a smart thing to do. Because I'm not great at driving rear-wheel drive cars. So, flying down here. I have a feeling this is probably also faster. There's probably more power in this, and more grip, and we all will drive, but still, so that's a bit of a bump there. Can be, it could have been worse. We also have more gears. We have six gears in this, as opposed to five of them. Speed is not necessarily always good, but <laughs> as we nearly showed there by having a massive accident. We can go much faster up there then. And much more sideways along there. And across the line. But now I must go and actually count the times and see just how long they were. So the stock Mama did it in 1.39 seconds. My version, this version, the version which is currently firing fire did it in 126, which is 13 seconds better, and the Sunburst did it in 114, which is 12 seconds better than mine. So I did better than the stock than the Sunburst did of me, but the Sunburst did win. Not my, as much as I thought it might do, which is kind of surprising, kind of not. And let's just do some donuts. Because donuts is a thing that this do. Thank you for watching. Don't get distracted. Go subscribe now and make sure that notification bell is on. But until next time, goodbye.